So the biggest problem with modern men's casual style is that both children and men are presented with the same clothing options. I mean, think about it. How many times have you seen a father and son wearing pretty much the same thing? Now, when it comes to formal style, it seems like the line is cleaner. But when it comes to good casual style, that seems to be a lot more confusing. So rule number one to great casual style is to understand it's a chain. What do I mean by that? Well, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. The same with your casual style. You want to make sure you're not making any obvious mistakes that are weakening, that are basically throwing your style off. Examples I see all the time, guys wearing worn clothing torn clothing, clothing with stains, wearing the wrong styled items together. A formal white dress shirt worn with casual light colored jeans paired with black square toed shoes. Guys, this isn't an outfit. This is an abomination. Now, I've got entire videos dedicated to avoiding style mistakes like socks with sandals. The point being is don't shoot yourself in the foot and make an obvious style mistake. That's the first step to dressing better casually. The second rule to dressing better casually is to nail the fit. First, pay attention to your body type and then understand the trends. What's going on? Right now, we're seeing a lot more more baggy clothing, but if you're a thinner guy, understand that this trend is not going to work for you. Dress for your body type first. Next up, simplify. Avoid those graphic tees. Instead, go for a solid colored t-shirt, maybe in a v-neck, something that's going to complement your build. Rule four, introduce luxury materials. We're talking suede. We're talking leathers. We're talking wool. These are the fabrics that men wear. And bringing it all together, we've got practice. You want to develop a signature look, and you do that like you go to the gym. You actually put in the reps. Good style is something that's learned that evolves over time. So find your uniform, your go-to image, the style that works for you. All right, Jen, so I got through those rules pretty darn quick because I want to get to the specifics, how to upgrade your wardrobe item by item. So first up, let's talk shirts. One of the easiest upgrades a man can make in his wardrobe. And for me, I know I like to default to a collar. This one change frames up the face and makes the shirt much more versatile. It definitely is something that steps up your style and separates you from all the boys out there. Now, this shirt in particular, what I love about it is not only the strong placket, the strong collar, but the strong pattern. This right here worn with this sports jacket really pops and draws attention to the chest area. That being said, gents, you don't have to get fancy with the pattern. If you've watched any of my videos, you guys know I like navy blue solid. It's my go-to color. And right here with this polo, same style, looks great, right? There is a change up though. Notice I no longer have the button-down collar. If you know your history, you know that button-down collars come from the polo field. The idea, keeping your collar down in place. Now, with this shirt, I really don't have to worry about it. And in case you're wondering, this is from today's sponsor, Collars & Co. I've talked about this company before and I absolutely love them for three main reasons. Number one is just the shirts look great. They're freaking amazing. The fabric, the drape is absolutely beautiful. I was traveling. These are non-iron. I mean, they came out of the bag looking this good. Just a beautiful drape. Next up, the collars. And I mean, this is the whole thing. Collars & Co. Go check them out. These are stiff, strong collars. Collars that are not going to fade or not going to fall apart or not going to wrinkle. These collars are made to be strong and to be stiff, to actually stick up and to properly frame the face. And let's talk about the placket. So these have a four button placket. Most polos you're going to see out there are going to have a three button placket. A four button placket goes a little bit deeper and is a little bit more formal. In addition, this is a hard placket. So it maintains the look of a dress shirt. Seriously, because of that muted color, I'm able to put on a sports jacket that has a little bit more pop, a little bit more bold of a pattern. And during the summer, you've got to dress up. What I love about these, again, they're incredibly breathable. They have a four-way stretch with the material. They are comfortable. And again, you can dress them up. You can dress them down. They're incredibly versatile. And I also want to point out that Collars & Co. have a wide variety of colors, of patterns, and collar style. So when you go over there, you're going to see that they got four collar styles. They've got the classic spread collar, the semi-spread collar, the button-down collar, and their cutaway collar. And again, because of the strength of all of these collars, you can layer these. You can wear these not only with sports jackets, but your favorite sweaters. Now, when you're upgrading your wardrobe, guys, the key here is to keep it simple. So if you've already got white shirts that you're wearing, a white polo, but yeah, the collar isn't that nice. You don't wear it very often because it doesn't look that good on you. This is what the one you want to probably start with. If you're, you know, in the Navy shirts like I I am, then grab a navy, but keep it simple with the collar. I would just go with, you know, a, one of the cutaway collars. Again, go with a solid color. But guys, if you want to get the best deal on the web with Collars & Co., 
Use the link below or go to collarsandco.com slash RMRS and use code RMRS to get the best deal on the web. I love it when you've got something that's functional, something that is easy to upgrade again in your wardrobe. And this right here could be that one piece that all of a sudden is going to lift your wardrobe up to the next level. Check out Collars & Co. Use that link in the description of today's video, the best deal you're going to find on the web. And an awesome company, proud to support them. The next clothing upgrade I want to talk about is your jacket. Now, denim jackets are great but they're ultra casual. Can you step it up? Boom. As you can see right here, all of a sudden I brought in a classic blouse in style and it's very lightweight. I know some of you guys are saying jackets. I never wear jackets unless it's cold. Those are known as coats. Jackets are actually an accessory, very versatile accessory that I think is going to make most men look better. Seriously, unless you have the body of Adonis and even then it can actually make you look good. Point being is jackets build up the shoulders, they slim up the waistline and they're just a versatile piece that you should consider as adding to your casual wardrobe. And believe me, when you find the right jacket, it makes a difference. This one, I have to admit, I like a lot more than that other green one. Something was off about that shade mixed in with the blue, but this combination right here, this really pops. It's also got the double pockets. It's got more of a military feel, but again, a very lightweight jacket, something I could wear, you know, 70 degrees outside. It's an evening, you know, it may get down into, you know, the sixties. This is a great jacket to be able to pull off. Now, a dark colored, clean leather jacket. This is always a great way to upgrade the casual wardrobe. But if you want to really level it up, there are other options. I mean, boom, look at this right here. Beautiful suede and in a unique color. Guys, I talked about suede earlier in luxury materials. This is something that you don't give luxury materials to kids. So therefore you don't see them wearing it. This is something a man would wear because it is going to be a bit more expensive. It is something that sends a message. This is unique. You got to have confidence to pull this off. But again, practice wearing it. And next thing you know, you're just going to love wearing this out because you get compliments. And let's just say the ladies want to touch it. All that being said, do not sleep on the power of a great looking casual sports jacket. And all sports jackets by definition are casual. More formal is going to be the suit, but technically, you know, they're not even semi-formal because there's formal, there's semi-formal, then there's business casual. Suits are business. Semi-formal, that's where we're going to have black tie. Formal, we're going to have white tie. But yeah, I'm not going to get into dress codes too much, but I will say so many men could easily step up their style with a great looking sports jacket. It's tons, tons of great options out there. Now, gents, if you're enjoying today's video, do me a favor and smash that like button. Seriously, every time you smash this like button, some guy out there realizes that square-toed shoes are are not a good idea. But really guys, what this does is it lets the YouTube algorithm know that, hey, this is a good video and it helps more men find it who need this information so that they can dress better. Yeah. Next up, let's talk about your shoes, your default shoes, the shoes that you go to. I get it. They're comfortable. You love your running shoes. But guys, this right here is the link in the chain that is probably weakest for most of you. And the tough part here is when you think you've got a good option. I mean, you're like, hey, Antonio, these are made from leather, right? Well, first up, these are old and worn and the style, yeah, is just, it's, yeah, you can do better. So first up, if you want to stick with sneakers, I highly advise looking at leather sneakers. Tons of options out there, but right here, keeping it white and making sure, again, that they don't look dirty, that you take care of them. But right here, for I know for a lot of guys, this is a great default option is the one to start with. If a full-on white shoe is not your thing, I always think that gray is a great option. Why? Because gray is a non-color. It's pretty much going to match anything and it isn't as hard to wear for some guys as that straight up white. Yet you still got a very casual, very functional, versatile shoe. If you want something with a little bit more color, a little bit more pop, something that is a bit more stylish, I love something in a coffee brown, but I know some of you guys love black. Really, let me know down in the comments what your favorite sneaker is. I love hearing from you guys. But moving on from sneakers, let's talk about boots. So I've got entire videos dedicated to why the ladies love boots and why you should too. They're incredibly functional. They are going to add a bit, you know, sometimes with about an inch and a half on the heel, they're going to make you taller. They're going to slim up your profile, your silhouette, just, you know, just something about boots everybody loves. And I think that these are a great option. Again, if you go with a classic style that has a really nice build and you take care of them. And if you're a traveler like me, one of my favorite styles of boots is going to be Chelsea because they slip on, they slip off. When you're going through security, it's so easy to be able to, yeah, just to deal with things and you get a lot of the same features. And I love the minimalist design of Chelsea's in general. And on a side note, look at that beautiful suede. We talked about materials. I, yeah, I just love suede. Something that so many guys are afraid to wear, but this right here, this material can really upgrade your look. And just because it's a dress shoe does not mean that you 
have to wear it with a suit. Right here, we've got a classic loafer, a more casual dress shoe that you could actually wear with jeans. You can wear it with a wide variety of different trousers. You can even wear this with shorts. I love just a good classic penny loafer that pretty much goes with anything. If you really want to up your casual style, look at brogues. A lot of people, again, confuse these with dress shoes. They're not. They're more of a casual shoe that because of the perforations in the leather, this right here is actually, you could still wear it with a casual suit, but you wouldn't wear this with a formal suit and you could wear this with a wide variety of casual clothing and it's really just going to level up your style. Uh, yeah, a great option. Now, this next one is going to trigger some of you guys and that is quit defaulting to shorts and jeans. I know they're easy. I know they're all over the place. I know a lot of guys wear this, but could you actually find some trousers that are more, you know, during the summer, tropical weight wool. There's tons of options out there made from linen, made from cotton, chinos that just look great. Maybe bring in some fun colors during the winter. There's things like, uh, you know, gray flannel trousers. There's cavalry twill. It's going to be a heavier, rougher wearing those moleskin. If you look around or if you're going to stick with jeans, find a pair that actually fit you. Again, getting back to that basic rule, maybe with a darker color, maybe even look to upgrade. I know that you love your Levi's, great brand, but is there something, go look at maybe some AGs, look for something, especially if you're an older guy, there are maybe styles that work for you. That being said, again, if you want to stick with a particular brand, just make sure that maybe you're wearing something that's not worn out. Again, don't violate those basic rules, get them adjusted to fit you. Jeans can be adjusted. So, you know, you see a lot of guys wearing jeans that are way too big and literally the back part of that jean they've got, it's all frayed because they were too long. Guys, there's nothing wrong with getting your casual clothing adjusted to fit your body. And just to be clear, I've got nothing against shorts. I just think that if this is your default choice, that you have other options and you should look for them. In fact, look throughout Latin America. You'll see that in really hot climates, a lot of guys do not wear shorts. They've got other options and they look better. They look more stylish. For exercise, for certain going swimming, yes, shorts are awesome. But if they're your default, what I'm saying is maybe look to break things up and go for something that looks better on you. Now, what about accessories? We're talking sunglasses, watches, backpacks, hats. Well, with each of these, again, you want to look, is there a way that I can upgrade this? Because am I currently wearing something like that worn out baseball cap you still have since college? I know you love that thing, but let's retire it. Let's maybe go, you like the baseball cap. I get it. You're not going to switch over to a trilby or a style like that. Then go for a baseball cap that is fitted, that is maybe solid in color, and that is really a bit more muted. It functionally gets the job done, but it doesn't look as worn as that old one you've got with your watches. I get it. You got into watches, and I got into watches because of fashion watches. But is there a better option out there? Seiko makes a wide variety of great styles, or maybe you want to spend a bit more money and pick up a Tudor or pick up a, you know, a brand that, you know, I mean, Rolex right now is out of the, yeah, I wouldn't pick up one of those because they're overpriced at this point, but there are tons of great options out there. Again, gents, it's all about upgrading. It's all about reconsidering what you're wearing. And is this going to suit me now? When you were 17 visiting Hawaii, you bought that shark tooth necklace. You I mean, you didn't even find this thing and you're still wearing it 20 years old. Is Maybe you want to change things up and actually wear a necklace that has meaning or maybe ditch it and actually spend a little bit more money on a ring that actually has meaning to you or upgrade your backpack. You're wearing that canvas backpack. You're now 25. You're working for a consulting company. Maybe you should look at a leather briefcase. The next tip to upgrade your casual style is to cheat on your barber. So you're traveling. You're in Chicago for the weekend. How about you find a stylist that's highly regarded? And yes, you're going to spend three times more than what you normally would on your barber back home in Iowa. But here's the thing is you may find a style. You may find a look that just actually transforms your look that you've never thought of. And this is really what you're paying for when you go to a high-end stylist is they're going to shampoo. They're going to look at your head shape. If they're really good, they're actually going to be able to present you a few options of which, yeah, what you could do. Now, if that isn't an option for you, don't have the money for it. Well, simply when you get out of the shower, have fun combing your hair in a different way. If you do a comb over like I do, maybe go the other direction. Maybe go straight back. Use a different hair product. You're always going for that textured fiber, but maybe try a pomade. Go for a little bit of sheen right there on the hair and see what that looks like. Experiment. Try something new with your hair. All right, Jen, so what video to watch next? How about how to dress like an Italian? Why? Because those Italians got style. Sprezzatura is what I'm talking about. Now, I know I probably mispronounced that, but you guys hopefully know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know about Sprezzatura, then you click on this video right here and find out more about effortless style. Oh, yeah.